Hello everyone, welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Friday, December the 13th. Friday the 13th, nine races, poly track fast. We start with a six and a half furlong claiming race, fillies and mare, scratch the 10, crypto rising star. Favorites, the 11 sheer joy, a rider change to Channing Hill, and the six got no answers with Norberto Arroyo. And off, away from the gate very slowly, 38 plus, sheer joy broke for the lead. From between horses, that's got no answers. Down along the inside, Purple Jean, followed by Acting French. Then it's Savannah's Glory. Up on the outside, Kay Lynn. Then two pretty for words. Through from the rail via De Roma. Continuing down the back stretch, 23 and 1 for that opening quarter. On the inside, Acting French puts ahead in front. From the outside, Purple Jean second. It's a length back, got no answers. Now gains ground from third. Sheer Joy on the outside runs fourth. Via de Roma is fifth. It's a length back. Fly away, baby is sixth. Down along the rail, Savannah's glory seventh. The half went in 47 flat, got no answers. Now moves by and gets the lead. Sheer Joy moves to the outside. Still down along the inside, that's acting French. Then up from the center of the track, late run from Flyaway Baby, got no answers in front. Sheer Joy is gaining on the outside. These two to the wire, got no answers, and Sheer Joy, Sheer Joy, up in the final strides over got no answers, Flyaway Baby, and acting French. Number 11, Sheer Joy gets up at the wire under Channing Hill. Owned and trained by John Cox for 22.62.40. Got no answers a game second. Flyaway Baby rallied for third, exact to 13.80. Dollar try, 56.70. And the Super, 5.11.40. Six and a half, 119 and one. Second race, this is a maiden claiming race. Mile and a 16th. Juan Vargas on the nine little blue. Program favorites, the four Mrs. Darcy. And the two Mystic Crystal. Going midway on the turn. From the inside, that's Peppermint Queen. On the outside, Emily Ostrowski. Now Mrs. Darcy gains ground. Mrs. Darcy moves by and gets the lead. Emily Ostrowski is second ahead. Peppermint Queen on the inside, third. Gaining on the outside, a fleeting beauty moves from fourth. Center of the track, Little Blue is also gaining ground from last. But nearing the wire, Mrs. Darcy just draws away under Victor LeBron. Mrs. Darcy wins by seven. Tight for second, but it looks like a Fleeting Beauty held off Little Blue. Number four, Mrs. Darcy takes the second, the favorite under Victor LeBron. Trained by Helen Pitts Blasey, 640. 343 even, a Fleeting Beauty rallied for second. Little Blue came from dead last for third. The double $12, exacta $27.80. The try $200.30. And the super $2,842.60. Running time 149 and 4. Third race, one mile maiden claiming race. This one is for the two year olds. Program favorites the three high Tory and the five angel in disguise. Midway through the turn, Hoosier Pete with the head in front of Northern Empire in second. Then up from the outside, High Tory runs a third. Length and a half back, Little Napoleon is fourth. They're inside the final furlong. It's High Tory who moves by and gets the lead. Who's your Pete there in tight in second? Up from the outside, Little Napoleon nearing the wire. High Tory in front, High Tory. Wins it over Who's Your Pete Photo for third between Little Napoleon and Northern Empire. Well, number three, High Tory crosses the wire first, but take a look at that head on. You'll see the three horse there in the blue cap come in, impedes the six Who's Your Pete, who's right next to him. Then uh, Who's Your Pete comes over and hits the one Northern Empire there down along the rail. So High Tory bo bothered both horses for this, was disqualified and placed fourth. This made Hoosier Pete the winner under Lori Weidick. Hoosier Pete paid $71, $30.40, and $10.40. Moved up to second was the four Little Napoleon, and Northern Empire moved up to third. 
Hyde Torrey DQ'd and placed fourth. The double 226.60, exact at 399.20. The dollar try 765.70. The super effect at $2,774. And the pick three, $203.10. The mile, 142 and three. Fourth race, $5,000 Phillies and Mares, six furlongs. Favorites, the five Grannies Green Eyes and the four Dakota Dim. And they're off. For the lead, the outside, Rosa Maria, the inside, uneven. Up between horses, Gold Glory, then Intentional. Length and a half back to Acton Ugly. Then up from the outside, she's out to lunch. The trailers are Dakota Dim, and Granny's Green Eyes is last after a quarter in 22 and 3. Moving into the turn, it's Gold Glory. In front, opens the lead quickly out to two lengths. Uneven is second ahead, intentional runs third. Down along the inside, Dakota Dim gains ground from fourth. Then moving up from the outside, she's out to lunch. Down along the rail, Granny's Green Eyes is gaining ground as they move into the stretch. But the leader is Gold Glory, has it by two lengths. Moving from the extreme outside, she's out to lunch. Dakota Dim from a between horses. It's Dakota Dim, and on the outside, she's out to lunch. Dakota Dim, she's out to lunch. Dakota Dim wins it over. She's out to lunch. Late run from Rosa Maria, then acting ugly. Number four, Dakota Dim under Perry Utes. Takes the fourth race, owned and trained by R.L. Williams, 960, 460, 320. Number eight, she's out to lunch second. The nine, Rosa Maria third, the double 391. Exacta, 161, 20. Trifecta, 717, 90. The Superfecta, over $12,000. Pick three, 784 for a dollar. And the pick four, $5,433. Six furlongs, 113 and one. The six, Del Rose flipped in the gate, was a late scratch. Consolation doubles and pick threes. Fifth race, this is a maiden race. Uh, maiden special, six furlong. Scratch four, 13, and 14. Favorites, the 11 forfeit, and the 10, Nate's Dynamite. And they're off for the lead. Oh, we have a spill in the right at the beginning of the race. Runaway Dan and El Favor both ducked into the temporary. Uh, Restraining rail there, and both horses unseated their riders. Chester's Park is also way back in here. Uh, up on the front end, it's Amber Sunrise, who now gets the lead. On the inside, King Hugo second, forfeit third. Two back, he's a smooth cat, is fourth. Then a big gap back to Nate's Dynamite in fifth. Followed on the outside by Indy, or by Include Indy Cat. And ladies and gentlemen, there is a stewards inquiry involving the start of this race, a stewards inquiry. So hold all tickets on the running of this race. As they move into the stretch now, forfeit on the outside, moves by and gets the lead from Amber Sunrise in second. Late run down the center of the track by Nate's Dynamite, who gains ground. It's going to be forfeit, though, in front, and Nate's Dynamite forfeit. Another win for Channing Hill, Nate's Dynamite second, include Indy Cat third, then Amber Sunrise. But again, hold all mutual tickets. Stewards Inquiry. Fifth race won by the favorite forfeit, marred by that spill. A runaway Dan ducked in right out of the gate and knocked El Favor right into that temporary rail. Uh, both horses uh, finished the race riderless and looked like both riders were up. Don't have a report on them yet, but forfeit gave Channing Hill his second win, $5.00. Three dollars, two eighty. Nate's Dynamite second, include Indycat third, thirty-six sixty for the double. Exacta fourteen eighty. The try eighty-six sixty. Super eighteen hundred thirty dollars forty cents. And the pick three one thousand eighty-eight eighty. Matanzas Pass was a late scratch. Consolation doubles and pick threes. Running time one twelve and one. Sixth race, six and a half furlong claiming race for the Phillies and mares. Favorites the six Graces Miracle and the four Royal Reward. And they're off for the lead. On the outside, that's Norma's Dream. Moving up from between horses, Royal Reward. 
Then on the extreme outside, Breezing Rain, followed by Heather's Wildcat, then down along the Rail Acacian Spirit. Down the back stretch, Norma's Dream ahead in front, Breezing Rain second, a length. Royal Reward now runs third, length and a half, Heather's Wildcat fourth. Acacian Spirit is fifth. Then from the outside, My Princess Dawn, followed by School Mistress. The trailer is sharp finish. The quarter, 23 flat. Norma's Dream is in front, just by a head. Breezing Rain second by two. Royal Reward moves a closer third from the rail. Three back, My Princess Dawn is fourth. Then Heather's Wildcat fifth. They're into the stretch, breezing rain in front. On the inside, Royal Reward. Up in the center of the track, my Princess Dawn runs third. Inside the final furlong, breezing rain. Royal Reward gaining. Also on the outside, my Princess Dawn now gets the lead. My Princess Dawn wins it. Late run from sharp finish. May have gotten second over Royal Reward. We'll take a photo, then Heather's Wildcat. Number nine, My Princess Dawn springs the upset under Dean Sarvis. Trained by Matt Cordenbrock, 3240, 1640, and 640. Sharp finish. Came from dead last to get second. Royal Reward, third. The double 9440, exact a 39460. The try, 114840, and the pick three, 39930. Running time, 119 and three. Seventh race, six furlong maiden race. Scratch the 11, Holly in China. Favorites in here, the nine out to sea, and the two, wife in the wind. And they're off for the lead. The outside, that's diamonds for GG. Moving through from the inside, Indian Fiesta, wife in the wind. Then up between horses, zero visibility, followed by gradient. Wife in the wind moves through on the inside, gets the lead. Indian Fiesta is second. Then from the outside, zero visibility runs third. On the extreme outside, diamonds for GG, followed by Curious Ruth. Then up from the inside, that is Kiss Moon and Out to Sea, 22 and 3 for the opening quarter. They're into the turn. Wife in the wind, diamonds for GG on the outside. Now up on the outside, Princess Leslie takes third. Center of the track, that's Curious Ruth in fourth. Then moving through from the inside, gaining ground, that is Kiss Moon down along the rail. Then up from the extreme outside, here comes uh, Diamonds for GG and Curious Ruth. The leader on the inside, Kiss Moon, and Kiss Moon wins it. Over Diamonds for GG, Curious Ruth, Princess Leslie. Number eight, Kiss Moon gets through on the inside under Rodney Prescott. Trained by David Vance, first time starter, bet down to favorite, 680, 480, and $4. Finishing second, the 12 Diamonds for GG. Third, the 10, Curious Ruth, the double 188.40. Exact a 93.40, the try 328.30 for a dollar. Super effective, 6,000, 80 and the pick three, six hundred ten dollars and fifty cents. Running time one thirteen. Eighth race feature, a mile and a sixteenth optional claiming allowance race. Favorites in here: the two point Piper with Channing Hill and the five Niederzell, ridden by Amanda Tamborello. Two back to Ridge City and Rivendell. Half went forty nine and one. Niederzell, Point Piper, they're still together. Shake your groove thing. Makes a move between those two. Then up on the outside, Paroled is gaining ground, followed by He Be Something. Those five now right together as they move into the turn, but now it's Paroled uh, on the outside who moves right by and gets the lead. Point Piper still there along the inside. Niederzell is a third. Then up on the outside, He Be Something, followed by Shake Your Groove Thing, Paroled. Into the stretch now draws away. Parole opens a four length lead up from the outside. That's he be something still on the rail. Point Piper late run on the outside from Shake Your Groove thing, but it's paroled. Parole wins by six. Point Piper second, Shake Your Groove thing third, then he be something. 
Number seven, Paroled circles the field, draws off under Ben Creed. Trained by Phil Sims, $13.20, $6.460. Point Piper ran a game race but was far back in second. Shake your groove thing third. Double 43.40, exact to 62.60. The try, 219.10. The super, $3,420.80. Pick three, 748.10. Running time, 145 and two. Ninth and final race, uh, 5,000 claimers, six furlong, scratch one, two, 13 and 14. Favorites, the six, Notoriety, and the eight, Big Ring. And they're off. Past your eyes, broke quickly on the outside, up between horses, Big Ring. Down along the rail, that's Solomon's Gold, followed by Europe Zip. Down the back stretch, Big Ring. On the inside, Solomon's goal. Those two together, you're up zip third ahead. Pasture Rise on the outside now runs fourth. Then it's a length back, Golden Holiday, Fenway Slugger. Moving up from the outside, that's Big Royal Deal. Length back to Notoriety on the rail. Then Late Charge and Goob, 22 flat for the quarter. Moving into the turn, Big Ring and Solomon's Gold still right together. On the outside, that's Big Royal Delta, who now gains ground from third. Then moving up from the outside, Notoriety, Big Royal Delta. Now gets the lead into the stretch, has it by two lengths, Notoriety. In the center of the track is gaining ground from second. Down along the inside, Big Ring. It's Big Royal Deal. Here's Notoriety, late run from late charge, Notoriety. Gets up to win over Big Royal Deal, late charge, then Fenway Slugger. Strong stretch run by the six, Notoriety under Roberto Morales. Trained by Jose Castanon, 560, 280, 280. Big Royal Deal second, late charge third, double 3720, exact as 16 even. The try 12870, super over 2300. Pick three for a dollar, 9720, and the pick four, 3350. For the Turfway Park Report, I'm Mike Battaglia. Good night.